My name is Gonzalo Funes. I'm an attorney licensed here in the state of Florida. And today I want to talk to you about the duty to disclose in real estate transactions. Now, there's generally a duty to disclose material facts in a real property transaction. However, this doesn't involve or doesn't apply to commercial real estate. I'll get to that in a minute. So let's go through that statement one more time. So a duty to disclose a material fact in a real property transaction. So first and foremost, you'd probably be asking yourself, what is considered a material fact? Well, Florida case law has been pretty clear in basically stating that a material fact is any fact that affects the value of a property. So let's go through an example of what a basic material fact can look like. So anything, any defect in a real property transaction such as leaking roof or flooding, insect infestations, cracks in the walls or foundation that are not easily observable are probably considered a material fact. Now, this rationale is based on the fact that a seller shouldn't be able to hide behind a shield of superior knowledge and to take advantage of a buyer's ignorance uh, because of the fact that you know uh, a buyer is obviously not know or doesn't know all the facts of a, of a particular real estate transaction, uh, that is the home that they're purchasing, as a seller is probably well familiar with. Now. Um, the Florida Supreme Court has held that if a seller of a home knows of facts that materially affect the value, again that goes to the material fact aspect uh, of a property and those facts are not readily ad, uh, observable um, or known to the buyer at the time of the purchase, then that seller has a duty to disclose them to the buyer. Okay. Now, again, I went through some of the basic examples um, that a seller has a duty to disclose, such as a roof leak, a flooding, anything, uh, uh, a crack or in the foundation of the walls. Um, but in addition, a seller also has or must disclose any building non-conformities to the local building ordinances or zoning laws. So those are just a few more examples of things that a seller must disclose to the buyer um, if they know of them. So this duty to disclose applies both to new and used property and uh, a lot of the times, um, you know, sellers, just to protect their end, uh, like to try and get around this duty to disclose by using what's known as an as-is clause or contract. Um, now the interesting thing about this and it behooves you to know this as a buyer of real of residential real property is that the inclusion of an as-is contract or um, as-is provision does not waive that duty of the seller to disclose hidden defects. So that's something that you want to be aware of and keep in mind knowing that both as a seller and as a buyer of residential real estate that this as-is contract or as-is clause does not waive that duty upon the seller to disclose of hidden defects. Now. Moving on to the commercial side of it, the commercial context, it's a little bit different. So in the commercial context, the doctrine of caveat emptor, or that's Latin for buyer beware, still applies to the sale or lease of commercial real property. Now, the reason being that, you know, the courts use what's known as a legal fiction in basically um, applying that or deducing that any commercial uh, buyer or lessor of uh, real estate is supposed to be a sophisticated buyer and therefore they're not um, you know they're not they don't need the same protections as a non-sophisticated buyer of residential real property now that may not always be the case but that's the way the courts have interpreted uh, that area of law so under this doctrine uh, absent an express agreement a material misrepresentation or active concealment of a material fact, the seller or lessor of commercial property may not be held liable for any harm a buyer or other sustain as a result of a defect existing at the time of the sale. Now again, I know this may seem a little bit convoluted, but to put it in a nutshell, just the mere non-disclosure of a material fact 
that affects the value of a commercial real property which is unaccompanied by any words or acts which are sufficient to constitute active concealment is not actionable so just as a heads up and, and a future tip for, for those of you that are considering buying or leasing uh, residential real property, note that one, the seller does have a duty to disclose material defects that are not uh, readily observable. The inclusion of an as-is clause or contract does not waive that duty on the seller to uh, disclose those defects. And C, if you're buying commercial or leasing commercial real property, know that the doctrine of buyer beware still applies and you want to make extra sure and be careful that you go through your proper inspection period and to make sure that the, any hidden defects that may appear um, that are not readily observable are noted before uh, finalizing that transaction. So those are, would be uh, you know, a, a few hints and tips and tricks that you would want to employ with respect to these. Obviously, I would always state that in any purchase or, or lease of real property, whether it be residential or commercial, that you have the adequate protection of use of both real estate professionals and legal professionals to make sure you're covered from end to end in the transaction. Thank you for listening. All the best.